Thank you. Mr. President, I rise today to honor the memories of the lives that were lost in Las Vegas on October 1, 2017. Four years ago, tomorrow, the Las Vegas community experienced tragedy on an unprecedented scale. Tens of thousands of people gathered that night for a country music festival. They were there to have fun, to dance, and to enjoy a concert with family and friends. That night, the fun quickly turned to terror when gunfire erupted, taking 60 innocent souls and injuring hundreds and hundreds more. In just 10 minutes, 10 minutes, dozens of lives were cut short and so many more were forever changed. These victims were friends and family, brothers and sisters, parents and children, and that night they were taken from us. The people that survived and the loved ones that didn't are still grieving, still feeling that loss with every passing holiday, every passing birthday, every single day their lives are forever changed. Nevada will always feel that loss, too. This was the worst mass shooting in American history, and it happened in our state. But I know our community is strong. We're resilient and in our darkest hour and in the days and weeks and months, and now even years after, we remain united. We remain Vegas strong. We're united in our grief for those we lost, but also in our admiration for those who helped save lives and support others that night. Heroic law enforcement officers and first responders, everyday citizens who ran toward the danger. They ran toward the danger to help others. Countless Nevadans who waited in line to donate blood and help people who were displaced in the chaotic aftermath of the shooting. As we reflect on the four years since this horrific event, I stand here today. I stand here today to honor the heroes who put themselves in harm's way to save others. I stand here today to honor those who were injured physically, psychologically, and emotionally, especially those who are still fighting to recover. Know that we are with you now and always. And I stand here today to honor those who lost their lives. They will never, ever be forgotten. May their memories be a blessing. And in their memory, we are resilient. In their honor, we are strong. We are Vegas strong. Thank you, Mr. President.